हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू टू माय चैनल देव्स इंस्टीट्यूट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन बुथ्स अल्गोरिदम फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल बाय क्लिकिंग सब्सक्राइब बटन गिवन बिलो दी वीडियो एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आईकॉन टू गेट इंस्टेंट नोटिफिकेशन वेन आई अपलोड न्यू वीडियोज टू द चैनल before going towards booth's multiplication algorithm we'll see how binary multiplication is performed and what is necessity of booth's algorithm so binary multiplication we have one multiplicand and one multiplier so the binary multiplication is done like our traditional multiplication method here we multiply multiplicand by the leftmost digit so here 1011 multiplied by 1 will give you 1011 then we multiply 1011 by second digit that is 0 will give you 0000 then we multiply multiplicand with third digit 1 will give you 1011 and then we multiply multiplicand by the last digit that is 1 1011 and at the end we perform addition of all these numbers which will give us the final result of the multiplication unfortunately this method doesn't give correct answer for the signed multiplication here it will give you correct result because both numbers are considered as a unsigned that is they both are considered as a positive number but if you consider signed numbers like minus 7 multiplied by minus 3 or minus 7 multiplied by plus 3 it will not give you the correct answer so for this purpose booth's algorithm is designed this is flow chart for booth's algorithm will i will try to explain this algorithm with the help of example consider that we have to multiply 7 by 3 so now to so that it will be easy to understood i will consider both numbers as positive numbers and then we'll see how to perform the negative numbers multiplication so consider 7 and 3 7 is represented as triple 1 in binary and 3 is represented by 11 1 in binary as we are dealing with signed multiplication we have added msb as a signed bit so triple 1 represents 7 and this 0 msb represents that it is plus 7 okay 3 is represented using 1 1 so we add 1 0 0 1 1 to make it plus 3 but in booth's multiplication it is necessary that multiplicand and multiplier should be represented by equal number of bits now plus 7 takes 4 bits so here we'll represent 3 by 4 bits and to make it 4 bit we have just appended one more zero at the msb so we have to multiply 0 triple 1 by 0011 so we'll now we'll go to algorithm flow chart sorry start then first step is initialize register a q minus 1 m q and count okay so here a is initialized to 0 as we have multiplicand and multiplier of 4 bit will uh, initialize a with four zeros means 0 0 0 0 then q minus 1 q minus bit q minus 1 is a single bit and will initialize it to 0 m is a multiplicand so we'll initialize m with 0 triple 1 multiplicand and q is initialized with multiplier here multiplier is 0 0 so we'll initialize q with 0 0 count is equal to n where n is the number of bits which we have used to represent multiplicand and multiplier so here count is 4 this is first initialization step in the next step we'll observe values of q0 and q-1 
if they are 1 0 will perform a minus 1 a minus m if they are 0 1 will perform a plus m and if they are 1 1 or 0 0 will perform directly arithmetic shift right okay so now this is q this bit is q0 this bit is q1 this bit is q2 and this bit is q3 we observe only q0 and q minus 1 okay so here q0 is 1 and q minus 1 is 0 that means q0 q minus 1 are 1 0 so for 1 0 we have to perform a is equal to a minus m and then we have to perform arithmetic shift right. Okay. Now, how to perform A minus M? That is binary subtraction. So, A minus M. Here value of A is 0, 0, 0, 0. Value in M is 0, triple 1. So, to perform a subtraction, we find out 2's complement of M. So, 2's complement of M is 1, 0, 0, 1. So, 0, triple 1 is converted into its 2's complement, 1, 0, 0, 1. We all know how to convert number into 2's complement. First, we find out its 1's complement and then we add 1 to that 1's complement to get 2's complement. Now, to perform subtraction, A minus M is equal to A plus 2's complement of m. So, a minus m will be 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 0, 0, 1, which will give you 1, 0, 0, 1. So, after this step, value of a will become 1, 0, 0, 1. That is nothing but a minus m. So, we'll perform this step and a value of a will become 1, 0, 0, 1. Q will remain as it is. Q minus 1 will remain as it is. M remains as it is. Count is as it is. And the operation performed is A is equal to A minus M. Now, next step from here will go here. Next step is arithmetic shift right. A, Q, Q minus 1. So, this three num three registers. A, Q, Q minus 1. We have to perform shift right. Now, what is arithmetic shift right? In arithmetic shift right, the first bit that is MSB will be copied as it is to the next MSB and again all the bits will be right shifted. So, this one will be copied here and then this one will be also copied here because of right shift. This one will be shifted here 1, 0 will be shifted here 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. 1 and this last 0 will be discarded and m will be as it is. This is what we call it as arithmetic shift right. This first bit is copied as it is and then every bit is right shifted including that first bit. And count is decremented by 1 that is count becomes 3. Now next step from here is to check the value of count. Count is equal to 0? No. At this time, count is equal to 3. So, no means we will again go up to this position Q0, Q minus 1. Checking of Q0, Q minus 1. Now, Q0, Q minus 1 are 1, 1. So, if they are 1, 1, we have to directly perform arithmetic shift right. We don't perform any a minus 1 or a plus m at this point because 1, 1 for 1, 1 and 0, 0, we perform directly arithmetic shift, right? And count is equal to count minus 1. So, all these values a, q, q minus 1 will be right shifted and count will be decremented by 1. Okay, arithmetic shift, right? And a, q, q minus 1 and count will be decremented by 1. So, this 1 will be copied here again. Then 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And this 1 will be discarded. M will be as it is. Count will be decremented by 1. Now, the next step is to check the value of count. Now, here value of count is not a 0. So, again we will go up. And we'll perform this check Q0, Q minus 1. 
Now q0 q minus 1 q0 is 0 q minus 1 is 1. So this is 0 1. So when 0 1 we have to perform a is equal to a plus m. Now we have to perform simple addition. So this is value of a triple 1 0 value of m 0 triple 1 will perform addition 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 0 plus 1 1 carry 1 so 1 carry 1 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 so now here we'll consider only the four bits and this carry will be discarded so now the value of a will become 0 1 0 1 because we have to perform a is equal to a plus m so this a will become 0 1 0 1 Q will remain as it is, Q minus 1, M will remain as it is and operation performed is A plus M. Now, next step is arithmetic shift right. So, we will perform arithmetic shift right of this. So, 0 will be copied here, then 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and this 1 will be discarded and count will be decremented by 1 count will become 1 again count is not 0 so again we'll go up we'll check values of q0 q minus 1 now q0 and q minus 1 are 0 0 so again we'll perform directly arithmetic shift right and count decremented by 1 so these values will be right shifted and we'll get result as 0 triple 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 triple 1 Count will be decremented by 1. At this point, it will become 0. Now, after this right shift, again we have to check the count. Count is 0. Yes. So, we have to stop here. And we have found answer. And answer is available in register A, Q. So, this is the 8-bit answer to the multiplication of 2 4-bit number. Result is triple zero one zero one zero one in binary that is nothing but 21 in decimal 7 multiplied by 3. This is how the binary boots algorithm works for signed multiplication. Okay. So now whatever we have seen is 7 into 3 that is 2 positive numbers multiplication. Now we will see how to represent numbers in negative numbers for boots multiplication using tooth complement. Suppose we have to perform minus 13 by 11. So to represent this minus 13 as a tooth complement negative number, first we have to write this 13 into binary. So again 13 in binary will be represented as 1101. To make it plus 13 we will add 10. Then minus 13 is 2's complement of this number. So 2's complement of 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 is 1, double, 0, double, 1, which will give you minus 13. So minus 13 is 1, double, 0, double, 1. 13 converted to binary, we add 0 to make it plus 13 because of signed numbers. And then we convert this number into the 2's complement which will give you 1 double 0 double 1 that is minus 13. Then 11 will be as it is 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1. So here we have m that is multiplicant as 1 double 0 double 1 minus 13 and multiplier as 0 1 0 1 1 that is plus 11. And the rest of the things will be same. Now we have m and q. So this m and q will be put in the boots algorithm and you will get the result. Then next is if you have to perform minus 13 by minus 11. Minus 13 you know how to convert 13 into minus 13. For minus 11 the similar procedure will be followed. So 11 is 0 1 0 1 1. 11 converted into 2 is 2's complement will give you 1 0 1 0 1 1. So now you have M as 1 double 0 double 1 and Q as 1 0 1 0 1 and the rest of the things will be same. Just make a note that here 
the value of n that is value of count will be 5 because m and q are of 5 bits respectively okay so this is all about the boots algorithm for signed multiplication i hope you have understood the concept if you like my video please press like button given below the video and please subscribe to my channel for more updates don't forget to click on bell icon thank you thank you very much